Isn't it weird how some car drivers think that because they pay for licenses and insurance that they're somehow paying their own way? In reality, there are hidden, sometimes staggeringly high costs to driving, and they're borne by everybody whether you drive a car or not. One US study found that the cost of just local roads was something like $40 billion a year, and only about 11% of it was paid by drivers. The rest was picked up by general taxpayers whether they drive or not. Author Donald Shoup found that parking fees make up at most 4% of the true cost of parking, and the rest is picked up by general taxpayers, whether you drive or not. Parking quotas drive up the cost of housing. One US estimate found it added $43,000 to the cost of an average condo unit. Other estimates say the cost of housing has increased 30% because of parking quotas, and we all pay that whether you drive a car or not. And then there's the social costs that we all bear for automobile collisions. In Canada, the average driver pays $1,300 for these costs, and even if you don't drive, you're still paying $1,000 per year.